Schluter Systems offers everything needed to create a waterproof, vapor-tight shower assembly. For example, showers can be constructed using the schluter Curdy waterproofing membrane and schluter Curdy drain. Refer to the Schluter Shower System Installation Handbook for specific installation instructions. The Schluter Curdy waterproofing membrane provides comprehensive moisture management in shower applications. Here's how to install it. In this shower, gypsum board is used on the walls, although other solid backing panels, such as tile backer boards, may be used instead. If the Schluter Curdy Board SN prefabricated shower niche will be incorporated in the shower, consider installing the niche prior to Curdy installation. Please refer to the Curdy Board SN shower niche within Curdy assembly video for details. The Curdy membrane is bonded to the walls using unmodified thinset mortar. The mortar is mixed to a fairly fluid consistency, but still able to hold a notch. A quarter inch by 3 16th inch V-notched trowel, or the Schluter Curdy trowel, which features a 1 8 inch by 1 8 inch square notch design, is used to apply the mortar. Wipe down the walls with a damp sponge to remove any dust. For particularly dry and porous substrates, it is recommended to wet the substrate first in order to help prevent premature drying or skinning of the thin-set mortar. Apply a thin layer of mortar to the wall with the flat side of the trowel to produce solid contact with the surface. And then, comb additional mortar using the notched side of the trowel. The walls must be covered with the curdy membrane up to the shower head at minimum. Embed the curdy membrane into the thin set mortar using the flat side of the trowel or a drywall finishing knife to ensure full coverage and remove air pockets. Periodically peel the curdy back to check for coverage. Proper installation results in full contact between the fleece and thinset mortar. Re-embed the membrane. The Curdy membrane application is continued on adjacent walls. Waterproof integrity is maintained at joints using a 2-inch wide overlap in conjunction with unmodified thinset mortar. For example, Curdy sheets may be joined using a 2-inch wide lap seam. Alternatively, Curdy sheets may be butted and covered with Schluter Curdy band, waterproofing strips, centered over the joint. Since Curdy band is one half the thickness of the Curdy membrane, buildup at seams is minimized using this method. A lap seam is demonstrated on the plumbing wall. A curdy band seam is demonstrated on the back wall. Apply unmodified thin set mortar to the area where the banding is to be installed. Embed the curdy band into the thin set mortar. Apply unmodified, thin-set mortar to the area where the Schluter Curdy Seal prefabricated waterproofing accessories are to be installed. Place the seals and embed them into the mortar. Schluter Curdy Seal MV 
is used to protect moisture-sensitive solid backing, such as gypsum board, at the mixing valve. Schluter Curdy Seal PS is used to seal protrusions through the Curdy membrane at the shower head. As an alternative, Curdy Fix or other suitable sealant can be used in these areas. The walls are now waterproof and vapor tight. Schluter Curdy Shower ST is a sloped shower tray made of lightweight expanded polystyrene for constructing shower bases. The tray can be cut to size with a utility knife or extended with dry pack mortar as required. If there is access to the plumbing from below and the waste line can be connected to the Schluter Curdy drain after installation, the tray can be installed prior to the drain. When there is no access to the plumbing from below, install and connect the Schluter Curdy drain to the waistline prior to the installation of the shower tray. Please refer to the No Access Plumbing Demonstration with Curdy Drain and Curdy Shower ST video for this method and return to this video when that work is complete. The substrate must be clean, even, and load-bearing. Any leveling of the floor must be done prior to the installation of the shower tray. The Curdy Shower ST is installed using unmodified thin-set mortar. A quarter-inch by three-eighths inch square, or U-notched trowel, is used to apply the mortar. Apply a thin layer of mortar to the subfloor with the flat side of the trowel to produce solid contact with the surface. And then comb additional mortar using the notched side of the trowel. Place the shower tray and solidly embed in the mortar. Check the underside of the tray to ensure that full coverage and support are achieved. Re-embed the tray. The next step is to install the Curdy Drain. Schluter Curdy Drain is a floor drain with an integrated bonding flange that ensures a secure connection to the Schluter Curdy waterproofing membrane at the top of the assembly. Fill the step in the shower tray completely with unmodified, thin-set mortar. Press the curdy drain firmly into the mortar to ensure full support of the bonding flange. Clean excess mortar from the bonding flange to prepare for curdy membrane application. Schluter Curdy Shower SC is a lightweight expanded polystyrene shower curb specifically designed to integrate with the Schluter Shower System. The Curdy Shower SC is installed using unmodified thin set mortar, similar to the Curdy Shower ST shower tray. The curb can be easily cut to size using a handsaw. Apply the mortar to the subfloor, edge of the shower base, and walls. Press the curb firmly into place. Verify that the curb is level. The curdy membrane is bonded to the shower tray and curb using unmodified thin set mortar. The mortar is mixed to a fairly fluid consistency, but still able to hold a notch. A quarter inch by 3 16 inch V-notched trowel, or the Schluter Curdy trowel, which features a 1 8 inch by 1 8 inch square notch design, is used to apply the mortar. Apply the thin set mortar to the shower tray and fleece covered bonding flange. 
Apply a thin layer of the mortar with the flat side of the trowel to produce solid contact with the surface, and then comb additional mortar using the notched side of the trowel. The mortar is applied up to the step in the bonding flange. Apply the curdy over the shower tray and drain flange. Embed the curdy in the thin set mortar using the flat side of the trowel or a drywall finishing knife to ensure full coverage and remove air pockets. Be sure the connection between the curdy and curdy drain is secure. Clean the excess mortar from the step in the bonding flange. Depending on the size of the shower base, it may be necessary to install multiple sheets of curdy. Waterproof integrity is maintained at joints using two inch wide overlaps in conjunction with unmodified thin set mortar. For example, curdy sheets may be joined using a two inch wide lap seam. Alternatively, curdy sheets may be butted and covered with Schluter Curdy Band waterproofing strips centered over the joint. Since curdy band is one half the thickness of the curdy membrane, buildup at seams is minimized using this method. In this demonstration, the second piece of membrane is cut to cover the remainder of the shower tray and curb. Curdy band will be applied over the joint. Curdy may be creased prior to installation to help maintain tight corners and make subsequent tile setting as easy as possible. Apply unmodified thin set mortar to the shower tray and curb. Embed the curdy in the thin set mortar to ensure full coverage and remove air pockets. Cardboard is placed over the previously installed curdy membrane to protect it while making the waterproofing connections between the tray, walls, and curb. Install Schluter Curdy Carrick preformed inside and outside corners using unmodified thin set mortar. Apply the thin set mortar to the area where the curdy Carrick inside corners will be installed. Embed the Curdy Carrick into the thin set mortar using the flat side of the trowel or a drywall finishing knife. Holding one side of the corner in place while embedding the other side in the mortar helps keep corner installation simple and easy. Repeat the process at the remaining inside corners. Install Curdy Carrick outside corners at curb to wall transitions along the inside of the curb. The next step in waterproofing the shower base is to use Schluter Curdy Band waterproofing strips to seal the tray to the walls and curb. Measure and cut sections of Curdy Band such that a two inch overlap is achieved at all junctions. Note that a two inch overlap can be achieved at Curdy Carrick corners without continuing Curdy Band all the way to the corner of the shower. This will limit buildup of the membrane in these areas and make setting small tiles easier. Curdy band may be creased prior to installation to help maintain tight corners and make subsequent tile setting as easy as possible. Apply unmodified thin set mortar to the area where the curdy band is to be installed.
Embed the curdy band into the thin set mortar using the flat side of the trowel or a drywall finishing knife. Repeat this process at all remaining joints, ensuring that the minimum 2 inch overlap is achieved at all transitions. Depending on project requirements and installer preferences, the order of schluter curdy waterproofing installation may vary from that demonstrated, provided that all surfaces are covered and 2 inch overlaps are maintained at all seams. The Schluter shower system is designed to be flexible and meet the needs of the installer. The Curdy waterproofing application for the shower base is now complete. A water test is recommended before setting tile to verify a successful waterproofing installation. This evaluation may be required by building code officials on some projects. Wait 24 hours after the membrane installation is complete to allow for final set of the mortar and to ensure waterproof performance of the assembly at seams and connections before water testing. Please refer to the How to Perform a Water Test video for this method and return to this video when that work is complete. If tile is to be set on floors adjacent to the shower, consider use of the Schluter Dietra uncoupling and waterproofing membrane, which can be sealed to the Schluter shower system to provide comprehensive waterproofing in the bathroom. More information is available in the Dietra Connection to Shower Base video. Curdy Drain features a fully adjustable square grate assembly that accommodates a range of tile thicknesses and makes tile cuts easier. The grate assembly is installed in conjunction with the tile. Fill the step in the bonding flange with thin set mortar. The height adjustment collar is placed inside the lateral adjustment ring and the grate is snapped into place. Back butter the underside of the grate to help ensure full support. Press the assembly into the mortar and install the surrounding tiles, ensuring full coverage. Position the grate to match the joint pattern of the tile covering and press flush with the tile surface. Remove all excess setting material immediately. Schluter profiles can be used to replace sealant joints and finish tile edges in shower applications. In this application, we're using the Schluter Dilex EKE profile at inside corners and the Rondek profile to finish the tile at outside corners.